Hey y'all, so I am back with another video and in today's set I am going to be doing my cousin and we're going for a very spring type of set. My last video I did some spring nails that were inspired by a picture. In this one I am going to be doing a freestyle. When it comes to people like this, like my cousin, she allows me to do anything I want. I always try to do a freestyle. So if it's something that I have been seeing and I wanted to try, I wait for the opportunity for her to come in and I can do that. So I've already pushed back her eponychium. Now I'm coming in with my cuticle bit going around the back of that nail. And here I'm coming in with my sanding band and just etching her nail plate. So like I said, I am going to be doing a freestyle, but I still at this point do not know exactly what I'm going to do. I have some products that I want to use, so I'm going to start with that first and then just go from there. So for my tips, I'm going to use these ones I got from Amazon. They are the No C-Curve Coffin Tips. And I've already got those applied. I've got them cut down. And now I'm coming in and I'm going to dehydrate and prime. And also with these tips, she wanted coffin, but I don't like a narrow coffin on her. So with these tips, I did not even file them into shape. I've just left them as is. And then when I apply my application, I will sculpt over these tips. And then when it comes to my finished filing, I'll really go in and shape them how I want. But I don't want to overdo it. So that's why at this point, I'm leaving them like they are. So to start my application off, I'm going to put down a thin layer of clear just on that nail. And I'm going to apply a very pale pink color towards the tip. I'm going to be doing an ombre. And this is just another self mix that I made. And I'm just going to start at the center of the nail and then walk it down. And like I said, I'm sculpting as I go. So that means I'm molding the acrylic over that tip. I'm not going with the structure of the tip, but instead making my own shape over the tip so that's what I mean when I say sculpting so I have it into the shape that I want I'm making sure that the sides are very nice and clean and then I'm just going to pinch off the tip you always want to make sure that you have your tip nice and flat and you have it straight there at the edge that's going to help you when you come to fouling So now I'm gonna come in with my nude color and I'm gonna start right there where the pink started. I'm gonna place my bead down. I'm going to tuck in the sides and then I'm gonna work the back and flatten that out. And then I'm going to walk that nude down just a little bit past that pink. And then once I have it down where I want it, I'm going to just blend it through. And when it comes to ombres, a good ombre is when you have like a very blended fade. And the best way I feel like to do that is to work with smaller beads and to use more than just one or two. I use three. Two sometimes I can get away with, but if you use more beads and small ones, I feel like you're able to get a better blend. And also you wanna be quick with your beads. You wanna apply it, get it in shape, and then blend it. And the reason why is because you're going to get a good fade and blend when your product is still wet. If it starts to dry up, then you're not gonna be able to just quickly blend it through. So work with small beads and work quick. So of course I wanna cap this nail. I do not want to take the chance of filing away my fade that I made for my ombre. So I'm gonna come in with some clear and I'm gonna start at the cuticle area and just really allow that product to flow down. So this clear, I'm not trying to build up anything with this. I'm just really covering the whole design. So I'm just smoothing this clear over this entire nail. Once I have that done, I'm going to look on the side of the nail and see if I need to add anything where my apex should be. 
So I'm going to add just one more bead and that is going to make sure that I have enough strength right there where it needs to be. So for this nail, I'm going to be doing a French and I'm gonna start off by taking a medium sized bead starting at the cuticle area and then just walking that bead down and forming it into a almond shape. Now I do wanna point out that I have some unevenness in my color when it comes to this bead. That is absolutely fine because I'm going to come in with more beads and blend this nail bed in. This color is a self mix and it tends to marble. But like I said, I'm not worried about it because I'm just going to be building over this nail bed anyway. And when I say building over this, I still have to come in and place my apex and also of course place my cuticle bead to blend it all together. When doing French, that is one thing that I do pay attention to is apex placement because I don't want to have to come back and do any extra capping or filling in any spots like that. I want to get my back area set up so the next step all I have to do is come in and fill in the tip color. So for the middle finger, I'm going to be doing this one a solid nude. And I want to make sure that I do not overwhelm this set. So I try to always find a balance in my sets. So if I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of art, sometimes I don't want it to look so busy overall. So putting in just like a ombre or just a solid nail will kind of bring it all together. So I went ahead and also made the pinky a French and also the thumb is a ombre too. So now I'm coming back to my Frenches and I'm just going to file them into shape. And then once I have them filed into shape, I'm gonna come in with my Speed White by Young Nails and just fill that tip color in. Like I told you guys before, I'm testing out new whites and so far this one from Young Nails is okay i mean it's not the worst that i have used but it's definitely not the best the <laughs> i'm telling you the one that i used to use the inm that i cannot find is better than anyone that i have tried so far and it just comes down to the consistency this one is still very white i don't notice any yellowing so for now it's getting the job done so I'm just going to build this one up. I'm going to make sure that my sides are clean. You also notice that I'm going over onto my nail bed, but I'm still trying to keep it clean also. If I go over a little bit with the white, it's okay. I just don't want to overwhelm it with that white because when it comes to filing, it can get difficult. Okay, so I have my application done and now I'm starting my finished filing. The file that I'm using is a 8080. I get them off of Amazon and I have been using these for such a long time. Well, here recently I just tried another one and it was a whole lot thicker. And pretty much that's what you need to get those sharp shapes is a good sturdy file. So I will be getting some new ones here soon.
Okay, so to start my design, I'm going to bust out one of my Madame Glam gel polish colors. And I just recently got some new colors. They are very spring appropriate. This green one has to be my favorite, y'all. It is so pretty. I've already used it a ton. So I'm going to take that pink color, add it to my palette, and then I'm going to come in with my Magpie Striper Brush, and I'm basically going to be doing a outline on this nail. So I'm going to just start with a line on the edge, and then I'm not going to do a full outline. So I'm going to bring my next line in, kind of like a triangle, and then cut it off at the tip. And I don't want to do too much over this nail. I want you to be able to see the light pink and then the contrast of the dark pink. So for the other ombre, I am going to keep it real simple and I'm going to do a outlined French. And for my Frenches, I'm going to do a outline of some 3D flowers. I know you guys have been seeing these. I have been seeing them everywhere on Instagram. And I just got these ones from Amazon. I made sure to get a whole bunch of different colors. And of course, for this set, I'm going to be using my pink ones. And with these little 3D flowers, I'm going to be using some caviar beads. And these beads did come with the flowers. So for the middle finger, I'm going to just be doing some diamond placements. So I'm going to start out by putting down my base and then I'm going to use the 3D flowers, pink ones, and then also I believe the gold ones are golden shadow. So after that, I was looking at the set and I felt like it needed just a little bit something more. So I'm going to come in with my reflective gel polish and this is just a very champagne gold base. And when it comes to those reflective glitters, I feel like the base of them is a very pigmented silver. So in order to make this go with my set, I'm just going to grab a gold gel polish and I'm going to mix that in with the reflective gel polish. I do this all the time. If I just want to change that color, I'll just add in a little bit of gel polish and it still reflects very, very well. And I'm simply going to just add some more lines to this design. I don't want to do a lot, but I want a little bit of pop coming out. Okay, so once I did that, this set was complete. I did go in, of course, and top coat it. And when I top coat it, I made sure to try to get some of that top coat onto those little caviar beads. They will rust as you wear. So I always try to top coat those. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in another video. Bye.